What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Dad Paul. Y'all already know who it is. Episode 13. We are here, man. Been about two weeks since I um, last recorded my last episode with Just Real. You know, he actually pushed his um, entrepreneurship class back to April. So if y'all didn't have the opportunity to watch that episode, y'all had the opportunity to just click the um, link in my bio. And y'all can actually recap on what happened or what was discussed in episode 12. It was entrepreneurship and his mentorship, his appliances, things of that sort. Uh, one thing I want to mention is R. Kelly. I want to mention Robert Kelly. I want to mention the man who had the world in his palms when he dropped the trapped in the closet. You know, everyone was saying, him be trapped in the closet. And now he's trapped in jail right now. And now everyone is making this some type of mockery. You feel me? Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I don't want anyone to look at like, Dad, what the f like, yo, Dad, like, you really sit here defending this guy? No, I'm not defending this guy. But one thing I will say is this. The bull black, I don't give a damn what y'all say. I'm not saying what he allegedly did is right. Because I would look like a clown for saying that. But one thing I will say is we always preach this. Yo, man, how y'all automatically going to say he guilty? They ain't proved this. They ain't proved that. So what we say, he guilty because of what we think? At the end of the day, he's innocent until proven guilty. Main man beat his cases in the past when he had beat 14 counts of child abuse or child whatever, you feel me? Something regarding to him having sex with a minor or someone under the age of 17 or things in that sort. Now, he recently just had an interview with CBS um, this morning with Gail, Gail, and Gail King, I believe, but Gail, and he basically was showing his emotions, showing his rage, and showing his frustrations that the world is attacking this man. The man has yet to even, you know, share his comments on what happened or what transpired, you know. Lifetime came out with a six-series documentary where with 50 women um, being interviewed, speaking on their experience with R. Kelly. You know, multiple women were saying, hey, you know, he's a good guy, he's this, he's that. And then you had a lot of different women saying he was abusive. He was this, he was that. And now, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, just like I just had this conversation off camera, where are the parents? At the end of the day, I need y'all to pay attention. I don't want y'all to just look at the Instagram clips of a minute of him standing up, losing his damn mind, or just, you know, expressing himself. I need y'all to watch the whole interview. It was a question that Gail asked him. She said, I know, she said, I know you have daughters. Now, let's say if one of your daughters were in a predicament with a guy that is allegedly doing the same thing you are doing. What are you gonna do? This man said, I'm gonna go up and blow this mother up. That's exactly what he said. You feel me? He, she, he repeatedly said it, saying that if it's any way or anyhow his daughter's being harmed by a man that's a pedophile or doing anything in that regard that he's allegedly um, accused of doing, he's gonna do something about it. Non-stop. You got multiple parents just sitting back in front of the press telling me, so, well, I feel as though uh, my daughter's brain... Yo, I want to be real professional in this episode because I'm not going to curse at all. But miss me with that. Like, miss me with that. At the end of the day, if you're a father, yo, and you have a daughter or a daughter and whatever, and your daughter is going through this, I don't care what you're talking about, yo. Like he said, I will put myself in a position so I can arrest myself, yo. Why would you put, why would he put himself in this position once again when he's known? And he's known for this. He's known for, I'm going to piss on you. He's known for that, yo. Remember Dave Chappelle made that parody about that? Like, come on, y'all. He just set us up. Why would I lock these females up? Why would I do this? Why would I do that? And now a lot of y'all probably sitting here like, yo. If he didn't do it, why would he say something? He says something because a lot of y'all are accusing him. You feel me? Y'all not going to have the opportunity to see him vent like he did. You feel me? And at the end of the day, I'm just looking at it like I, I, may, be, I may be too pro-black. I may be too pro-black. Because I'm just looking at it like they're trying to take down our, our iconic stars, yo. One by one, yo. Like this is real rap, yo. One by one. Like I said, I'm not defending this. Like, we were so quick to jump on this Jesse Smollett. 
you know, what they got in common? Chicago, you feel me? Chicago PD, you feel me? Before I jump on the Chicago PD, though, R. Kelly just got booked right after he dropped that interview. Why? $161,000 um, in child support he didn't pay. Now, you come, come on, bro. Come on. I got to scratch my dress with this one. I can't even scratch my head, but I got to scratch my locks with this one. One thing I'm trying to figure out is it took y'all this long to arrest this man, so y'all waited till his total got to $161,000. To say, you know what, let's get him. Versus y'all just randomly grabbing bull after he missed maybe four or five payments. Y'all wait until he, y'all can't get any anything. Y'all matter of fact, I'm, I'm stumbling, I'm stumbling over my words. Y'all don't have enough evidence to, to book this guy, so y'all trying to find anything to get this man in jail. They did the same thing with OJ. Main man, he gotta quit it. Uh they said, all right, cool. We're gonna get this man for trying to steal his memorabilia. He sat for that. Now we're gonna try to get this man to sit for child support. This is R. Kelly, y'all. Like, I'm not saying he get a pass for that, but this is R. Kelly. I need y'all to think real quick, y'all. Like, just think about this real fast. You know, um, we got the Jesse Smuller situation. I'm gonna switch it over to Jesse Smuller with this Chicago PD. Um, a lot of people, including myself, was sitting back thinking like, damn, dog, Jesse frauding on Cam. He lying, he crying, like, he's an actor, so, he can cry, he can do all this. He's very believable. Like he was one of my favorite um, actors on Empire. Keep it a bean, you feel me? Until that joint started dying down, I started watching it. But when he, <clears throat> excuse me, when he actually said that he was randomly attacked and he recognized the guys and this, that, and the third, boom, all right. I'm not, all right, this don't sound right. And then they said that he paid these attackers to attack him. Okay, that don't sound right. Because he really didn't look hurt. They did a, a sh job trying to um, hurt this guy, to be honest with you. If he got paid $3,500 for two people to attack one person, you know. The, the point I'm making, that came out to be a lie. He didn't pay them to attack him. He paid them to actually train them to be fit, for him to be fit, like them, allegedly. You know, TMZ reported that, just like TMZ reported that he got jumped. You know, so we don't know what to believe, right? You know, so let's say if Jesse Smullett was telling the truth this whole time, just let's just say, and Chicago police, who we hate the police, twisted our whole mind up, and we sit here as black people, like, damn, we just did this to two people. What you mean two people? R. Kelly, let's say if he beat this again, like he did the first time, what we gonna say, he did it, hmm? What we gonna say? Cause I'm gonna tell y'all what we gonna say. God forbid he passes away. He passed away, they gonna drop a story or a documentary, right? About something that he got acquitted of. Just like they're doing with the king of pop, Michael Jackson. The man can't even speak on his behalf of what the hell is going on. Main man been dead for 10 years, yo, in August and they're trying to say, once again, this man was a molester, was a child molester. Like, what? Like, how many times do he got to, he can't even do anything. He already beat this shit, beat this in trial. You feel me at the end of the day? I don't understand what's going on. I don't, I don't understand. You know, um, you got people that he allegedly touched, um, got on the trial, or got on a stand and said he didn't do anything back in the day. Now, what y'all want to do? Switch up the story? Y'all don't have enough money no more? Michael Jackson's not alive? They support y'all? Like, what is going on? Now, instead of his family, because his family can't do anything. His family is older, and they're just worried about keeping their name alive, I feel. And they're trying their best to protect the Jackson name. But at the end of the day, it's crazy because it's like, Sony just recently, I'm not sure if y'all noticed, Sony recently just bought the Jackson estate of his publishing. Before he died, he bought the um, publishing from Sony. You know, that included the Beatles, included all these different people, right? Okay, excuse me. Now I'm looking at it like, Michael Jackson is an icon. Why are we, trying to backtrack on something 
that he was acquitted for. Like, I'm trying to figure this out. When people, yes, white people get um, acquitted in jail and the black community is in an uproar, what do we do? We sit back in rage or frustrated, right? And then after a month, two, maybe a year, we look at it and if someone say, yo, George Zimmerman, for example, oh yeah, that's George Zimmerman, the man who killed Trayvon Martin, unfortunately. He got acquitted. We can't do anything about it, unfortunately. So why are we doing this with our black, can we, our black um, celebrities? And we're allowing it to happen. Like we are. We're allowing it to happen. You know, like y'all might not agree with me. Like at the end of the day, I don't expect y'all to agree with me. I don't expect y'all to agree with anything that I'm saying. At the end of the day, y'all have your own opinion. And if y'all do, that's great. But if y'all don't, I, it, that's it's expected. But at the end of the day, I just feel as though it's wrong. You know, um, I feel as though we need to start looking at ourselves a little bit more because a lot of people is judgmental, you know, instead of actually doing their research on certain things. Uh, including myself, you know, that's why I'm so big on researching. That's why I'm so big on speaking on certain things I have knowledge on instead of making myself look like a fool, you know, because at the end of the day, um, my main objective is to give you some type of insight of what's going on. And before I continue, uh, before I continue to bring on my guests, I would like to actually mention this one thing. A couple episodes ago, I had mentioned um, a lady named Jacqueline Smith, a Baltimore um, engineer. She was um, attacked and um, killed by a panhandler. If I had it, I might give you a dollar or whatever, just for me to think I'm reaching to give you something and someone's trying to kill me, yo. Shit gave me heaven, had me having second thoughts, to be honest with you. Y'all got to watch yourselves out here, man. It's dangerous out here, man. This lady had two sons, one in school and um, one in the Coast Guard. To find out your mom died for helping someone. Um, come to find out, it was her husband and stepdaughter or daughter-in-law. Said stepdaughter, daughter-in-law, um, that set the murder up. You know, the man got on camera and said that it was a guy assisting a lady with a baby who ran up and said, "Can I speak? Can I tell your wife thank you?" The man reached over and said, "Thank you," and stabbed her and killed her and ran off. This is what the guy told the people on the news. Main man was just sitting there, didn't seem, had no type of sympathy or anything. Like he didn't seem like, he didn't seem emotional. He didn't seem emotional at all. The daughter is just sitting there crying, trying to get a Tyler Perry job. Like that's how she just looked, like trying to act. Like she was doing a terrible job crying and all that. I'm not saying you gotta cry a certain way, but she just didn't look like she was real. And come to find out, they're booked. And at the end of the day, I ain't the type of person that wish this type of stuff on anyone, but they deserve what they got. That's real, man. Like, how you do that, yo? How you do that? But I want to bring the, um, the mood back around because uh, I just want to get that real stuff out the way. I want to talk to y'all about some real stuff. Some real stuff is <clears throat> tutoring. Tutoring is something that been around for a long time. I'm 27 and I'm pretty sure I've been around for about 30. 40, maybe 50 years, you know, they probably had a different name, maybe called assistance or things in that sort, I'm not sure. But um, I ran into this guy uh, through a mutual friend, my man Derek, uh, a few months ago. Uh, you know, he told me, he said, yo, dad, man, I would like for you to meet this guy. Um, him and his girlfriend have a company, um, a business, and they have uh, multiple um, topics and different things that they like to work on with children. Um, they tutor children, they assist them with a lot of different things, and I feel as though he'll be, and they'll be a great addition to your show as far as you speaking to them, them giving some type of awareness to the community, you know, for, kid, for kids and parents and things in that sort. So I looked into it, I seen Take Action Tutoring on Instagram, I seen a lot of different videos, I seen a lot of different happy children, and um, a lot of people don't realize, you know, when you have tutoring, sessions a lot of children feel pressured a lot of children are bored because i was a person that needed tutoring 
in science. I hated science. That's why I didn't become an engineering major. I love math, but I hate science. I didn't have the time to learn. But at the end of the day, I had some assistance in science and I um, exceeded in science. The point I'm making is you have African Americans, I like to say all the time, black owned business that actually are taking the time out to assist and help your children. A lot of people are afraid to admit that tutoring is needed in a household in 2019. Why? Because we had this thing called social media. I don't have my phone because I'm on live right now. It's called social media. People care about who's looking at you. Why is that? Now, why, why are we caring about who's looking at us instead of us caring about us monitoring our children, our children, our children looking up to us? We worried about the wrong things. But before I keep chapping, I'm about to bring them on and bring them on. Yeah, everybody, it's your boy Deathfall. We back. I just told y'all that we having a special guest. We have two special guests on um, the CEOs of Take Action Tutoring, you know, Patrice and also, how can we forget, Charles, you feel me? How can we, how y'all doing today? How you doing, man? How you doing, miss? Right. How you doing today, man? Um, I, it's a pleasure to have y'all here today, mm -hmm. man. Actually, mm -hmm. I appreciate y'all stopping by for episode 13 of the Dev Hall Show. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to reach out to y'all for some time because I noticed that y'all doing something real positive in the community. Um, y'all have a tutoring company. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I don't see that many people have, especially mm -hmm. black people. Mm -hmm. You know, can y'all um, like elaborate on like what, what motivated y'all to start a, a, a tutoring company? So we were sitting in the house one day and we said to ourselves, look, a lot of people doing different things, doing this, you know, selling clothes and this and that, which is a good thing. But we right. want to do something different. Want to give back to community while also helping kids. Right. We really love what we do, and we tell all the parents out there, listen, we do it from the heart. Not just, we don't just shove a paper in their face and tell them to do the work. No, we get them up, get them active, and mm -hmm. get them alert. Mm -hmm. We give them snacks, we take them on trips. We also took everybody a gift on Christmas door to door. That's what we do and that's what we about. And we ain't never going to go away. We're here to stay and we're up in the community in Philadelphia and we got y'all for life. Mm, 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 mm. I like to hear that. So now by you saying that, um, <clears throat> did y'all have any, do y'all have any children or anything? No. Yeah. Okay. Now I wanted to figure out like, it's something that by you saying that a lot of people sell clothes and y'all mm -hmm. trying to fit, find y'all niche. Mm -hmm. Like what, what, what is different about us is going to stand out. Yes. Now by you saying everything is from the heart, like what, like is, is this something that motivated y'all to say, you know what, man, I'm going to just start my own company, meaning like, was there an experience or anything? All right, so I'm a first grade teacher, and by me being a teacher, I noticed that a lot of kids need help, and it's only usually one teacher in the classroom with about 30 kids. So the teacher cannot get to those low, low, low kids because she has to worry about everybody else. Right. And then some, most of our parents work at night. They can't help with the homework. And we just partnered together to make sure that we can help these kids that need help, that might not have the opportunities to get help in school or at home. And to piggyback what you said, mm -hmm. I once was laid off on my job at PHA. Mm -hmm. So that also gave me the motivation to say, listen, I work for somebody that I don't even know mm -hmm. that cuts my checks. Mm -hmm. I think I can do the same thing he could do, mm -hmm. but with kids. Mm -hmm. And that motivated me right there when I got laid off, that I can do my own business and do my own thing, mm -hmm. but also help people so they can have a better future. All right, I like that. I mean, honestly, uh, now with you being, with that being said, are y'all, do y'all have an LLC and things in that sort? Like, are y'all like, are y'all like an establishment where y'all can compete with different tutoring um, services and things in that sort? As far as our techniques, yes, mm -hmm. but we are just a year in. Okay. So we're still working on different things that we need to work mm -hmm. on, mm -hmm. learning different things and getting our business going. Yeah, you know, we want, we want more people to see it, you know, not just people in Philadelphia and in the schools. We want people to see it like senators, mm -hmm. try to get grants, try to get grants for kids and parents that can't afford the tutoring mm -hmm. service. That's big on us. So if anyone out there seeing this right now, listen, we need everyone help. We want mm -hmm. this to be a big family. It's not just about us mm -hmm. or just about tutoring kids. This is a, a whole family. We need the whole Philadelphia to back us so we can back y'all. 
Now, um, now, when I was saying it, as far as the LLC and things in that sort, I was just saying that because, you know, a lot of people may be interested in your, in your services yeah. and they may be trying to find you guys online and things in that right. sort. That's why I was asking that question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, to get back to that, <clears throat> to get back to the kids, um, I noticed a lot of videos on Instagram that y'all have kids excited, motivated, mm -hmm. and encouraged. Um, and by you being a first grade teacher, did you, like, help uh, Charles, like, become you know, acclimated with children, or you just have that, or you just naturally gifted with that ability? I helped a little, but he has always worked with children as a TSS worker, so. Solid. So he knows the ins and outs, okay. so us together was just like a kaboom. Like, okay. it, it was, we're on fire. Okay. We're on fire. Okay. Um, man, that, that, that right there is with the assistance with um, a TSS worker because I was a TSS worker yes. and still I'm a TSS worker uh, mm -hmm. working with children. I, I was working in the third grade class. I used to see how teachers used to deal with multiple mm -hmm. personalities at mm -hmm. one time. And some TSS workers, a lot of teachers would treat TSS workers like a teacher's aide. Yes. yes. You know, but, you know, we was only there for one person and one person only. But yes. mm -hmm. some of us had, in the kindness of our heart, we would mm -hmm. like to help. And Basically, then, making sure the kid don't knock somebody else's head off. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. In other words, to say the least. <laughs> um, but one thing I want to know now: how y'all, how do y'all, how are y'all sessions like broken down? Okay. So we are a one-on-one -on -one tutoring company. We tutor by the hour. Mm -hmm. It's forty dollars for one hour, but payments are every two weeks. So you have mm -hmm. enough time to get your payments in. Um, say if your child does one hour a week, that's eighty dollars every two weeks. Um, we do accept um, multiple payments. It doesn't matter if you can't afford it this week, but you can afford it next week. We work with you. We're not the type of company that like, no, we need it now. We need it now. We understand different situations. We understand that things happen. And like he said, we are a family. That's first. Um, what else? I mean, we do have certain rules on like when payment should be. Mm -hmm. Like if it's a late, you're late, it was a late fee, to not a late fee. But usually we work with the kids and the parents, like we, like she said. So mm -hmm. we're not real lenient on that in the payment. It's all about you guys, but mm -hmm. we can't let you guys, you know, not pay at all. But we still, it's all about y'all. So anything that y'all can do to make the payments, even if anybody, from your grandma, your grandparents, we deal with grandparents, great grandparents, mm -hmm. no matter who you are, we're here to help you. And that's just what it's all about. Payments is only $40 every week, $80 every two weeks, $40 a session. If you want more hours, it's $40 again. Mm, I like that now. I wanted to ask you this one question. For parents that's out there listening, <clears throat> that's viewing, and that's actually on live, uh, what information can you give these parents that make them feel comfortable on approaching you guys versus another company? The confidence. Confidence. I mean, a lot of kids you see today don't have confidence, and confidence is, we use that with everyday life. So mm -hmm. I think when you install confidence in a kid, he builds awareness and learn, knowing they're like, look, I can do this. Mm -hmm. I can do that. I do know two times two. Right. I do know seven times eight. Right. Most of the kids come and be like, I don't know that word. Mm -hmm. No, you do know that word. Right. And once they realize they know it, they be like, oh, because you're smart. Right. Now, I noticed one thing, um, like I was going back to the videos, because that's the only proof that I have right. for their um, services. Mm -hmm. Now, it was one video I noticed that I seemed like I was doing some long division, and you were dancing on the side. Mm -hmm. and, that's, and, and, it, and it made me laugh, not in a bad way, but in, in a good way. Like, yes. it's good to see, you know, a black male, mm -hmm. you know, instructing mm -hmm. um, another, another um, African-American child because... Mm -hmm. That's something that the school system or school district lacks, you know, yes. um, black men mm -hmm. in the school. And I noticed that because, you know, a lot of people seem excited, yes. you know, and it seems like they are encouraged. The reason I keep saying this encouraged or excited and motivated because I know students or children that are embarrassed, yep. that are scared to seek help because mm -hmm. they feel as though they may be dumb or stupid mm -hmm. or how did we used to call it back in the day retarded or things special needs you know that's that's how people used to look at people who needed help mm -hmm. but it's a whole different day and age it's a mm -hmm. day, different day and age you know everyone needs help with something What's whether it's mind? you know that's ask why <laughs> as we say our model is asking for help is cool mm -hmm. okay it's really cool <laughs> i love it it's, it's cool, really cool man. it's cool it's the man. new thing it's the new thing guys. asking for help is cool asking for help it's cool. Right. I repeat, 
<laughs> asking for help is cool. Right. And we also have music playing while we tutor. You yes. might not know this. Mm -hmm. We have music playing. So, you know, the kids, this generation love music. Mm -hmm. We do what? Watch me with Nay Nay, all the, right. all the songs. Right. All the songs. Right. Right. Whatever right. we'll like, gets you started. We yep. know some kids are bored with education. So, yep. look, right. we all been through That's right. That's right. So, mm -hmm. we try to get they, we try to trigger something in their body to get them up and trying to learn. Mm -hmm. right. when, when we see that the kid is progressing, do you know how that make us feel? Right. It's, a, it's a whole new level. Of, of 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 greatness that we just install it. We don't even know what we're doing yet. Right. We don't even know, man. Listen, we we happy what we do, and we got y'all. I was gonna ask about this now. Um, I know y'all couple and y'all business partners. Do y'all have any other staff, or is just y'all two? It's just us. We're actually hiring, guys. Mm. We are hiring staff. Okay. Yes. Right. There's a two man army so far, but we are hiring one more person. We need one more person because we have over 40 people on the waiting list. And to piggy on that, thank you guys for being patient. We have a waiting list. Huh? Yeah. Can we just talk about the progression real fast? Mm -hmm. um, they're a year in. Um, they started out with six? Six. Mm -hmm. And where are we at now? Fifty. Fifty. Six, six to fifty with forty on the waiting eight, list. Eight. It's a two team right here. You feel me? Um, I wanted to know, I, I, I wanted to get an example of a struggle, a tough time you had with a student. Uh, or a client or a child where they had to open up because every child isn't the same. You're a teacher, you can realize that. And yes. you were TSS working yes. and you realize that. So, yes. like, what is a time where you can get a child to open up? Like, be comfortable to be able to trust you guys? Can you have, do you have any example or anything? All right, well, I'll say it was a time when we had one kid, right? Uh, <laughs> we had one kid <laughs> and... Uh, we told them to do the math. So we told them to do the math. So I was like, you know, in certain ways, we use certain techniques with math. We don't just like, what's seven times nine? We right. always got a technique for something. I think techniques work well on kids. Thanks. So Major. Major. It's a major, <laughs> it's a major situation that you have to do with kids. Right. Techniques is a, is a big problem. So there's one kid I had when he, I had him roll over seven times mm -hmm. and roll back mm -hmm. seven times <laughs> to, to realize that seven times seven, yeah. that's how he only way he got 49. Right. If you said seven times seven, he wouldn't know 49. Only way he knew was 49 by movement right. and getting him adrenaline and rolling. Mm -hmm. And that's what we try to teach, getting up and getting moving. Right. It might get your body into wanting to do education. Right, okay, okay. Um, I had a student who had an F in math and reading so the teacher did not understand what was wrong how to get the student to to interact with her to want her to want to learn soon as she came to tutoring we had played her favorite song we didn't even know it was her favorite song mm -hmm. play her favorite song she came in with a smile mm. mom said she never saw her smile when it had anything to do with math or reading At ever all. this child today has scored the highest um, in her school with the PSSA. Mm -hmm. You heard that? You heard the that? The highest score in PSSA. Not, Do you know how hard test. that test is? Yeah. PSSA. Do you, yeah, do you know how hard you know that, that test is? Oh, listen, listen, listen. I ain't trying to be reminded. Like, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm grown and I remember, like, stressing <laughs> yes. over, yes. circling the grade. bubbles and everything in there. I remember that. And she's in third grade and she stopped going to tutoring a week before she took the test. Mm -hmm. So our techniques stay with you. Mm -hmm. it's, it make you want to still learn. Right. So for her to score that and she's not even getting tutored anymore, right. Right. says a lot about us. Yeah, I was going to say something like, like, did that make y'all really feel, because I know you said like this greatness inside, but like, do y'all, did that really make y'all feel like, damn, like, yo, we just made this kid like feel confident yes. to do this without, the, without us being around. That's the main yeah, thing. That's the main well, that's thing. Being around. I tell everything. We don't even realize what we're doing. Most people tutor, but what is the kid doing after Afterwards. the tutor? That's yes. the thing. Because anybody, yes. yeah, think about it. I, I don't mean to cut you off. Anybody can participate or get it mm -hmm. there. Because mm -hmm. you know when you leave, you're like, what? I forgot. I forgot. What they say? Yep. Exactly. Like so. That's why we say we are 24 hours. We even help kids at 11 o'clock at night. Yep. Uh, if a parent would text us and say, hey, this is a problem my kid can help her with, hey, Trees, wake up. Let's get this problem yep. before we go to sleep. Right. Yep. This happened yes, last night. Right. And people don't understand, we really tutor most of our kids for one hour once a week. Mm -hmm. And they're, doing from, they're going from Fs to As. Mm -hmm. One hour a week, mm -hmm. like one hour a week. And I understand, not two. 
one, one hour. hour a week. Right. We have some kids who only have for two weeks. Mm -hmm. That means it's only two hours, two sessions. Right. And he jumped three grade reading levels. And it's just both of y'all. That's the that's the and thing. Just, that's, that's the thing that's amazing me. Like I mean, like a lot of people may not be catching up to what y'all saying. These two people, you know, a black owned business. They just started a year ago. They are hiring. They're already having children excited with reading um, and math mm -hmm. scores that's jumping from F's to A's, you know, on top of reaching the highest PSA level in their school, mm -hmm. things in that sort. Um, they're taking the strategies that they're learning, fun dancing, movement, yes. momentum um, strategies that's sticking with children. Um, they're actually taking the time out outside of their jobs to yep. assist these children mm -hmm. on a late night. You know, $40 for one hour, $40 for one hour, oh no, $40 for one hour, mm -hmm. two hours, one hour, one week, one hour, the other week, $80 every two weeks mm -hmm. because they are human and they realize that people get paid bi-weekly and they're working right. with you. Yep. You know, you have multiple cash payments. We have PayPal. We have Cash App. Yep. Everybody asking for Cash App. Mm -hmm. Which I say $40 for Cash App, right? Yes. <laughs> it's That's $40 right. for an hour. It's and it's free. Like, it's free to test your child when they first come with us. A lot of tutoring services, mm -hmm. you have to pay okay. them to test test their child. Okay, now what? It's free. Ours mm -hmm. is free. Ours free. And see what level they're on. That's yeah. what we test them for, to see what level they're on. It's free. Okay, I, want, I, want, I did want to ask this, though, because um, people that may be interested may be like, why didn't you ask this? What topics do y'all cover? It's really on the need of the child. Mm -hmm. Whatever the parent wants us to do, that's what we do. Okay. And then after we test them, we see what level they're on. Mm -hmm. And hey, mom, ho, I don't think we should be doing that. We need to go back. We need to go back. Take okay. it back. Because he's not there just yet. Okay. We need to start from the beginning. Okay, now um, another thing, homework. Do y'all help with homework? Like what, like what type of assignments or things that y'all do? Like do y'all just re randomly come out with workshop and work, um, worksheets for the Oh, for no the worksheet. Okay. Oh, um, no worksheet. So no. our whole thing is get up and get yes. active. Yes. Okay. I like no that. worksheets. Yes. I like that. <laughs> That's what the school system does. Uh -huh. No worksheets. Right. So we get them up and get yep. them active. Yep. No worksheets. No we worksheet. go. We do techniques based off of what they're learning in school. Right. Okay. So if they're having a math test coming up, we look at the math that they're doing. Mm -hmm. right. Then we get them up doing that math, have races and right. do stuff like that. So like what she music said, playing. Because most of us, you know, most of us, we start off with homework. Like they got homework. We yeah. say, right. you got homework. Let's start the homework. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then. That's a tech what you're working on mm -hmm. for the next test. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you got a math test coming up on Wednesday and we tutor you on Monday, hey, bring that to tutoring right. so we can help you with that, prepare you for that test. That's a major fact. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's a major fact. Now, how are the parents' um, reaction to you guys? Good. All, all great. I mean, we have some people that disagree with certain things we do or, you know, at certain times. Like but for the most part, all great response, mm -hmm. all good feedback. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want. We want you to give us negative feedback too so we can see how we can get better. Yeah. So we don't take that as a negative at all. Right now, um, where can these guys find you guys at? Or like how can they, you know, reach out to you guys and things of that sort? Mm -hmm. Instagram. Instagram. Uh, hey. I'll say mostly Instagram. Okay. But we have a phone, a phone number, 215-510-9949. Say it again. Say it again. 215-510-9949. 510 Okay. You can reach us there or you can reach on Instagram at Live For Me. Take underscore, underscore action underscore tutoring underscore. Right now, is there anything you would like to, you know, tell the audience about your tutoring, ser your tutoring services? Yes. Well, I'll start off by saying, we are, first of all, we appreciate everybody from a year ago, well, six months ago, from the fundraiser for helping us. You guys did that and helped us. So we want to give back to y'all and we appreciate everything. Parents, do not be shy to take your kid education serious. We are here and we are here to help. Yes. And please take action. That's our motto. Please take action. And asking for help is what? Cool. Okay. Ain't nothing wrong with asking for help because then someone be like, you can ask it. I'll be like, yes, I, I know. I'm going to ask you as many questions as possible, you feel me? Yes. Well, y'all already know how that go. You know, Charles, you know, <clears throat> Dev Hall, y'all already know Patrice. Take action tutoring. Mm -hmm. Episode 13, y'all already know how it go. Ah, uh, they posed for y'all, too. <laughs>